Hello there, Cancer. My name is Trudy, and I'm your Portrait Gypsy Angel Medium. This is your super duper late February reading. My bad, but I'm shooting it from Trinidad. I'm in my, well, you can't tell, but beautiful hotel room, and that's Trinidad. I'm right by the beach and the mountains. Let's see if you can see anything. Oh. It's really hard to get this. Okay. Yeah, so it's been really nice here. Everybody's super nice and happy. And, you know, like, there's some Rasta people. And it's just a different culture. I feel like the food is like... Oh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising. All that. Okay. Um, so I feel like the food here in Trinidad is like... Africa met India and had a baby and named it Trinidad. Very interesting mix of cultures. I'm super excited that I get to do your reading here. So, Cancer, I don't know what deck we're using, but if you haven't already, click subscribe. You definitely want to do that. If you'd like a private exchange of energies, a private reading, Click on the description box right there. It's a downward facing triangle and you have a few options to choose from. Also, if you want to figure out which ones of your chakras are blocked, it's a free call. All you have to do is schedule your call to Ascension and it's with me and I'll figure out which ones of your chakras are blocked. And then if it feels really good, I'll get you into my 90 day coaching course will align all of your chakras, open your third eye, and get you on track to living the path of your highest self. So, bottom of the deck, the emperor. I was instructed not to cut the cards, by the way. So, low key, you're in boss mode, Cancer, all of the month of February until the next time we meet. If I do it again late, you know, in March, um, you're still in boss mode. You're over here holding Excalibur. Okay? You're the boss of bosses. You call the shots. I love it. So, you're also very focused on your money at this time. Um, there's some truth that you want to tell. Some truth you want to shed some light on, but you don't know how to approach the situation or the conversation. And so you're kind of just waiting for time to present the right opportunity. Justice will prevail. And so I feel like maybe last chapter somebody wronged you or last chapter somebody silenced you. Or last chapter you were forced to tell a another version of the truth. <laughs> um, mm. Hmm, very interesting. Okay. So in telling the truth or in receiving the justice, you feel like you're surrounded with people who are not team cancer. You feel like everybody is here like each man for himself. And it's really frightening to realize that those around you don't really care about what benefits you. To have this realization that they are self-centered and they are opportunists that are surrounding you. Snakes, they don't care if they see you fall. And that's really scary. And so this is keeping you up at night. It's giving you nightmares. It's eating away at your brain. Um, and then the last card really sums it up for you, Cancer. So I'm not even pulling any extra cards. The last card sums it up because you need to get back into boss mode. Like, you start off the reading with the Emperor, and we finish the reading with the Empress. So this could even be romantic. This could be like a match made in heaven, right? You meet your match. Or it could be that you're actually, you know... Okay, so we started off the reading low-key, it's the emperor mode, and you're being low-key about being an emperor. But at the end, you know, you're just so regal, you're both 
divine masculine and divine feminine in one emperor and empress and you're revealing your true colors guess what the empress doesn't do her own dirty work she doesn't get her fingernails full of dirt she gets somebody else to do her bidding for her and so does the emperor they don't do any kind of work they don't sweat so on that note, don't sweat it. Cancer, I love you. Love me back. Love yourself. Love everybody around you. Mwah.